Are we hearing my voice, please? Yes. Okay. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Shall we pray together, brother? God of heaven, we honor you tonight. Thank you, Father, for the privilege you have given to us again to see yet another beautiful day, beautiful moment, beautiful hour. And we have come to your presence, Jehovah. We have come to fellowship with the Father, with the Son, with the Holy Spirit. We have come to seek your face. We have come to tarry as you have commanded us to do. You said men ought always to pray and not to faint. And today, being the very first day, Sunday, the day of the Lord, the day of resurrection, Father, we are praying that tonight, O oh God, you will personally visit every one of us tonight, manifest yourself in every one of our lives, every yoke, every sorrow, every affliction, Tonight, an end has come to all those problems in our lives in Jesus' name. Yeah. We pray, Lord, that God will manifest yourself so greatly, even as we come in with you this night, O oh God, in Jesus' name. We pray for all our brethren who are yet to come to join us. Holy Spirit divine, we pray that we steer them up remind them and make them to join us even in good time in jesus name thank you everlasting father in jesus name we have prayed amen, amen. praise the lord hallelujah. praise the lord hallelujah be the now exalted, O oh Lord, above the heavens. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Hallelujah. Let thy glory be above all the year, hallelujah, be thou exalted, O Lord, above the heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Let thy glory be above. All the end. What manner of, of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He made a lamb to all. Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He made a blind to see. Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 oh, hey, amen. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hey, amen. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent. Excellent is your name, O oh Lord, oh Lord, how I go, how excellent is your name in all the earth, how excellent is your name. Amen. Amen.
We want to worship God tonight. We want to begin by praising the name of the Lord our God. He commands us in Psalm 150. He said, let everything that has breath. And I know you have the breath of life in you. You have the breath of God inside of you. He said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And tonight, we want to worship God. Please praise him. In every way and in all ways you know you can Amen. praise God. Please Amen. open your mouth and begin to appreciate Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. I bless you, Lord. The mighty one, the Lord, Lord, I one bless that's you. in heaven and in full of the face of the earth. I bless you, Lord. Oh, Lord, you are almighty. Oh, you are sovereign. You are appreciating. Yes. Your mouth and oh my God, you are Let's sovereign. Give you all the praise. Let's Almighty. give you the adoration tonight. You deserve Let's all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Because yes. of his majesty, because Thank you, Lord. he is the ancient of days, he is the living in the holy Hallelujah, 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 and has been granted. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, 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 let's give him all the praises tonight, let's thank him, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah, 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 amen, amen, please if you don't mind as I'm singing it, I want to be singing it at your own end, even though it may appear as if the whole thing will scatter, don't worry. God understands. Just sing it to your own end, at your own end here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is a joy. Praise the Lord. In the honor of His power, power, praise the Lord. It is sanctuary praising. In the power of Praise the Lord, praise him. In his sanctuary, praise him. In the power of his power, amen. Amen. We want to bless the name of the Lord. I want you to look at the volume of the prayers you have been praying. Imagine, just begin to quantify, if I thought you can quantify them, the volume of the prayers that, are, that we have fired, we have sent to heaven, save our soul, SOS. Yes. And we have prayed on so many things, mm. spiritual matters, mm. physical matters, mm. financial matters, family matters, yes. marital matters, in fact, secular issues, and so many yes. things, even concerning health. And God of heaven has never for once denied us. Why don't you open your mouth and appreciate him? He has never for once denied us of any of the requests. He's a good God. He's a loving father. He's the one that answers prayer. Open your mouth and begin to praise God and say, Father, tonight, thank you once again, oh God. Because each time we come to you, you're always there to answer our prayer. You're always there to answer us and to attend to all our needs. Oh, God, bless you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We have just short time to pray tonight. In the pastors, we are meeting, and of course, everybody is welcome. Both men and women, everybody is welcome on this platform. I'm reading from John chapter 16. The theme of tonight's prayer is, and your joy, I mean, and your sorrow shall be turned into joy. Amen. And I, I, want, I, want to, I want to hear a bigger amen. 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 All, 
everything that tends to give you sorrow of heart, everything that tends to pin you down, to tie you down, and making you to be weeping secretly and silently and you know, even in the night at the all time, at your own time when you are all alone by yourself and you are, the thing is burning your mind. Let me tell you, Jesus Christ said, our sorrow shall be turned into joy. John chapter Amen. 16. In the book of John chapter 16. I'm reading from John chapter 16. If you have your Bible very close by, just go along with me as we read now. John chapter 16. And I want to read, I want to read verse, uh, verse 20, 20, 20, verse 20 there. It says, verily, verily, I say unto you, I want you to look at yourself that Jesus is by your side. Man. And he's just very close to you and he's talking to you right now. Amen. And he's addressing you as an individual. And he said, verily, verily. You know what it means when, when somebody says verily, verily? It means there is no doubt about it. He said, truly, truly. This one is beyond every you know, reasonable doubt. He said, verily, verily, I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful. But look at what, what follows. He said, but your sorrow. I love that verse of the scripture. He said, but your sorrow, your sorrow, that thing that is paining you, that is giving you grief of heart, grief of mind. He said, and your sorrow shall be turned into joy. Look at verse Amen. 20. In verse 21, rather. He said, a woman, when she is in travail, has sorrow. Yes, when you see a woman that wants to give birth, she's just very close by. Oh, it's always a time of pain. A time of agony, a time you know, a time that she know that she want to give birth, she want to she want to deliver at that point in time. So the pain is always small. He said, a woman when she is in travail and sorrow, meaning that while you are having that sorrow, you are very close to your miracle, you are very close to your deliverance, you are very close to your breakthrough. And then he said, he said because. A hour is come. And I want to announce to somebody here on, on this platform, I want to announce to an individual here that your hour of breakthrough, your hour of joy, your hour of success, your hour of deliverance has come. And that is exactly Amen. what everybody said to tell us there. He said, because a hour is come. But as soon as she's delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish, mm. the pain, for joy yes. that a man is born into the world. Now, we're talking about, he said, Christ said, he said, but our sorrow shall be turned. <coughs> he said, but our sorrow, <coughs> excuse me, he said, but our sorrow shall be turned into joy. He has given us the assurance tonight. And I want you to rest yourself upon the word of the Lord because the Lord has promised that, that sorrow, that thing that has been paining your heart, that has been troubling your soul, that has been troubling your mind, that thing that is giving you heartache, it could be in form of affliction. It could be in form of setback. It could be in form of nightmare. When you sleep in the night, something is pressing you down. You're always in one confusion or the other. Or maybe you are experiencing, you're having a kind of terrible experiences you cannot even explain. I want to tell you tonight. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Tonight it is a night of liberation. And that is why we want to pray tonight, brethren. And I want you to really make up your mind to pray. We have just short time to pray. But before then, Examine yourself, brothers and sisters. Examine yourself. Look at your life very well. Are there something that may stand between you and God this night? Are there something that can stand in, that can play out, that want to stand as a barrier to your receiving the miracle tonight, to you receiving your joy, the fullness of joy, the fullness of your deliverance? Why don't you open your mouth and pray tonight and say, God, 
Oh Lord, I come to the foot of the cross. Yes. The Bible says, let us therefore come boldly unto yes. the throne of grace that yes. we may obtain mercy and find yes. grace to help in the time of need. Check up your life, check up your life, open your mouth and begin to pray now and use this few, this few minutes to be able to examine yourself, to look into your life. Open your mouth and pray. The Bible says, if a man therefore point himself, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and made for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord and say, God, let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to avail for my soul this hour tonight, O God. The blood of Jesus Christ in my heart, in my thoughts, in my spirit, in my soul, in my mind. Oh Lord, every defilement within, whatever thing that can stand between us and our prayer tonight, whatever thing that can stand between us and our miracle tonight, open your mouth and begin to pray. Any way that is hypocrisy, any way that is anger, a little anger can stand as a barrier, a little bitterness can hinder. A little rock can stand as a hindrance. A little malice can stand as a hindrance. A little in, even to hinder your prayer. Open your mouth and begin to say, God of heaven, oh Lord, I present myself once again to you tonight. Let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to avail and begin to bless everything. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Anywhere that is self and pride in the earth, I want to ask God and say, Lord, tonight, Oh Lord, I nail it to the cross of Jesus. I nail it to the cross of Jesus Christ tonight. I nail it to the cross of Jesus tonight. Let the blood that was shed on the cross at Calvary, let it begin to flow into our soul, into our heart tonight, into our spirit, into our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, God, man. I want to give you the few minutes for you to pray and call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I told you that I have just short time so that we can pray. We are going to pray tonight. You are going to pray this way. Please listen and listen good. You are going to tell God and say, God, every power that says, I will not reach my goal. I want you to understand, I believe you are, you are, you have a goal in life and you have a plan. You have a plan. A, I mean, God has a plan for your life and he want to take you to that place. But there are forces that have been fighting. Look at it, for example, somebody will be, has been trying to make it, maybe at a time he will try and then he will do everything, do everything possible. When he was when it's almost at the peak, almost at the point of getting to the peak and moving and crossing over to the point of success, something will just happen and drag him and pull him down. We are going to pray. Don't you know that that is the operation of witchcraft? Don't you know that that is the activities of the powers of darkness? You are going to pray tonight and say, God, every power that says I will not reach my goal, let that power begin to crash Plan. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Every power that says you will not reach your goal, the goal that heaven has set for you, he said, For I know the goal that I think for you, but of peace and not of evil to give an expected end. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, every power that says I will not reach my goal, I will not be able to, to get to. We are God has appointed unto me. Why don't you open your mouth and say, God, let those power begin to crash down by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we compare with power every force of darkness and the powers of darkness, all the powers of hell, let everything begin to crash down now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord tonight. Open your mouth, I'm not hearing no prayer. Open your mouth and pray. We can do better than this. We can do better than what you are doing right now. Open your mouth and pray to God. Ask him and say, God of heaven, 
Amen. Do you know that there are star readers and there are glory readers? They know when Jesus Christ was born. And Herod was informed. They began to study, to look at the stars. They said, ah, he's going to be a very big person. He's going to be a mighty one. And so he sent out his people, his men, to go and be, you know, to know when he was born and all that, so that he can start executing judgment and kill those small, small children. Those are glory killers. Those are destiny killers. You are going to pray tonight. All the glory killers, all the destiny killers that have been assigned either against your life, against your family, against your wife, against your children, you are going to pray tonight. Let the power of God begin to crush them. Let them begin, let them begin to crumble. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord tonight. All the destiny killer, all the destiny arrest. All the destiny killer, all the destiny killer. One way or the other, I want to kill my husband, the destiny of my wife, the destiny of my children. This night, I want to kill you. I want to kill you. Jesus name we have prayed Amen. 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 you know you can imagine whereby somebody will be at a particular point others are making progress he or she is stagnant struggling at a particular point he's not moving forward it's not moving backward, just stagnant. Just stagnant. Just stagnant. You are going to pray. That thing, that, in, that, that, that uh, imprisonment of stagnancy, where the enemy has caged you, where the enemy has put you over the years, you are going to pray tonight by the power of the Lord. God has sent the angels to go and open the prison door. Where Peter was kept, we are going to pray tonight. God will send his messenger, the holy angel. They will begin to liberate us from that prison of stagnancy. Even tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every yoke of stagnation, everything will be broken tonight in our lives. Open your mouth, don't forget what. I told you, I say your sorrow shall be turned into joy. And tonight is the night. It's going to be a night of joy, fullness of joy. Open your mouth and begin to pray to not and say, God of heaven, oh God. Lord, every form of stagnation in my life. I reject it. I renounce it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every prison of stagnation, every prison of stagnation, every of stagnation in the mighty name of Jesus. I've seen many of them, I've worked with many of them for just no reason. 
they will just become angry against themselves. They are angry not only themselves alone. If it were to be themselves, it would have been better. You will see them, they will just frown their face. You will see them, they are angry against everybody. And at the end of the day, you ask them, what is the problem? They cannot tell. Because the enemy has placed upon them the garment of sorrow, the garment of depression, the garment of sorrow, the garment of sadness. You are going to pray every, every garment of sorrow that the enemy place upon anyone on this platform tonight. We want to set, want to set them on fire. You want to command all those garments of sorrow, all the garments of shame, all the garments of sadness, all, all the garments of backwardness. We want to say everything begin to catch fire tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus. 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 So, be broken and catch fire, 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 be broken by fire in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again. We are still praying. You know, there are people that every now and then falling sick. They will seek, they are always sick in the day, sick in the night, sick in the morning, sick in the afternoon. You know, every season like this. Maybe when the rain is falling, they must fall sick. <laughs> Maybe at one time or the other, they must something will happen to them. There was a there is this particular man in my environment here. You know, this hiccup. I was standing very far from him. And the hiccup hooking like this. If it, in fact, it looked as if somebody that was coughing, right? Hiccup. It was so high. Then I moved closer and said, ah, what kind of thing is this? What is it? He said, he now began to explain to me. He said, my grand, grand, grandfather, they used to have it. And then they mm. pass it on to my own father. And mm. now it is its own turn. I said, Baba, that thing is not ordinary. That thing, you need the help of God in your life. There are people like that, that the enemy has placed upon them either a kind of hereditary sickness, garment of sickness, garment of infirmity, Garment, you know, of want of disease. You are going to pray tonight. I was, I had a, a particular story during our vigil that I was told that somebody died of the father of that person died of poison, and the same person now, the, the son also died of poison. I, I said that that's another trend. He's following a particular trend. Maybe those who are also coming, the one that he also given back to. They will also fall into that category. We want to pray tonight. Every garment of sickness, every garment of infirmity, every garment that the enemy has placed that is not of God, we are going to pray and say, God, let those garments of sickness, every sickness in the bone, sickness in the marrow, sickness in the bloodstream, sickness in the chest, sickness in the leg, let everything begin to cut fire to Open your mouth and begin to pray. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, every garment of infirmity that the enemy has created. Every kind of sickness that will be placed upon me and my family, be broken and catch fire, 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 in the name of Jesus.
Garment of heaviness, every garment of shame, every garment of sickness, be broken, be broken, catch fire, be broken, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every garment of sickness, garment of sickness, every garment of infirmity, life and family, be broken and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because of the meeting because every Sunday like this we always brainstorm or meet together. I just want to give this request before we pray, before we round up now. You are going to pray every arrow that the enemy has fired into your family. Arrows of confusion. In the name arrows of Jesus. Of fire. Fire. Arrows of calamity. Arrows of untimely death. Arrows of premature death. In the name of Jesus. Of the order. That is not because you are going to pray tonight. The Let that death. arrow begin to return back to the center. Open your mouth. 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 Open be broken and catch fire. 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 Anxiety be broken, and catch fire, name Jesus. Bitterness be broken, and catch fire, name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. But the special grace of God this week is the week of GCK. Oh, yes. Global crusade with our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dobel Kumui. We want to pray that as we are preparing for this GCK, many of us have even forgotten about GCK. Maybe we even take it lightly now. We don't take it with all seriousness and all that. But you know, mm. we need to advance the kingdom of God. That is yes. the aspect of the Almighty God. We are going to pray the power of God be mightly present in this GCK. Amen. From our location to all the satellite location, everywhere people are going to be connecting all over the world, in Europe, in Africa, everywhere in Nigeria, and even everywhere together. We want to pray the mighty supernatural power of God, the wind of God will begin to blow out. Sinners will be getting converted. Max will be getting restored. God will begin to do mighty miracle, unspectacular miracle, unprecedented miracle everywhere. Shall we Amen. open our mouth and begin to Father, pray? Father, we give all the Jesus name. We pray for your mighty power. We pray for your mighty power. We want to see the move of your power. We want to see the move of your power. We want to see the in the name Father, of we bless on the this crusade. We pray that even this crusade that you will show yourself mighty. If thy soul be warm, I will do all men the will be strengthened, Lord, that you will use your power, your anointing during this crusade in every location in the name of God. You will strengthen the anoint the speakers of the the organizers and even the financial support for this crusade, Lord, that you will raise up your people, your own people, that you have been prepared for this crusade. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Please, we want, I want uh, Pastor, Pastor Peter, please quickly help us round of the prayer before Pastor Ali will come up. Okay. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name for yet another privilege to come before you. Oh Lord God in heaven, you have assured us time to tell number in your words that if we seek, we will find. If we knock, it shall be open unto us. Lord God, never this night we have knocked, we have seeked, and we have asked. Father, we believe, oh Lord, you fulfill your word on this, this verse of scripture. You will answer all our requests, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you for the requests that are coming in on the platform. You said even before we ask, you have already answered us. We decree, oh Lord, that every priest of Pacha that want to hinder any one of us tonight from receiving from you, we pray them on their knees in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord God, you know, we pray that you will visit us in a way that by the end of this week, oh Lord, this is another week that is full of your power, the week of GCK, you do great and mighty things in our lives. At the end, O oh Lord, we put testimony in our lips, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we, we pray, committing your son that you have used this night again to your hand. We pray that more power, more option, yes, more anointing will be upon him, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And other ministers who are using this platform, we pray for them. We bring them all before you. We pray that you visit them. You do Amen. something new in their lives. You visit them personally, O oh Lord. And put testimony in our lips, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, yeah. we want to especially pray for Pastor Matthew again, that you remember him. Amen. We thank you because everything that is going on, oh, we are seeing yeah. your finger on it. O oh Lord, pray that at the end, you're granting victory at all sides in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And him with his wife and his children, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we continue this program for the few time remaining, take us your control, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor Ali, please. Uh, okay, thank you so much, uh, Pastor Peter Bosse. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, without going to much preambles, I the pastor that I stayed in on Sunday just told me that I should please do some checkup uh, during this pastor's uh, prayer meeting as a planning meeting. Our observations uh, and also what we can do. This this is this is a corporate discussion now. It's not a preaching time. It's it's a corporate discussion now. Now. We noticed that we have about 287 on the prayer request platform. People are not turning up, despite our publicity, personal contacts, and all that. So, yeah, we, what shall we do? That people will be people will be connecting to our prayer meeting. Look at it now. We have 13 for today attendance. On Thursday, we have about 13 or 14 for the attendance for Thursday's prayer meeting. Okay. Saturday, which, is, which was yesterday, uh, yesterday, about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about 13 attendance. 13 attendance. So the, the attendance is dropping. As pastors, as ministers, that you are needing a church, a district, or a location, at the end of every meeting, also will bring the attendance, they brought the attendance so it will see. And if you as a pastor in your local church that the attendance is dropping, you'll not be happy. We are the members. That is the art of all pastors. We are the members. We are the people. So please, what can we do? And some of our members that are stopped attending the prayer meeting, what can we do? I need, I need a suggestion, please. Let's be very fast. I have less than eight minutes more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, last week we discussed the same thing. And after the meeting, I called uh, the sister that uh, most of us were showing concern, Sister Sister Kemi Ajiro Tutu. And she said uh, it's because of work and school. 
that she's not be having time to join us. And she said, I should greet all the pastors in the platform. So I use this opportunity now to report, to report that feedback. I said, I should greet all of you. And the question you asked, my pastor, is a concern to every one of us. And uh, what we actually need to do is one-on-one -on -one contact. It's one-on-one -on -one contact with our people. That like today now, Pastor, your is not online. I think somebody should do where to find out, Pastor, what happened? We didn't see you today. We know uh, the GCK is coming. Most people are getting busy. But this has been a thing of week in, week out. So we need to get in touch with ourselves. Be your brother's keeper. And by that, that we'll be able to uh, know what is happening and build up the platform. I think, I think that's what I have to say for now. Other people can say their own view. Uh, thank you, Pastor, Pastor Peter. Uh, I, I, if you are talking about busy, you are busy, but you are you are online today. Okay, Lagos is a busy grant. Today by four o'clock we are out, and by seven we are back, and by eight I was I was I have a Lagos State all Lagos State floor prep. We have a meeting, and that meeting starts from eight to nine thirty. I have to the moment I give my report in my in my district, my group of this, I have to pull out. I do this prayer meeting since from four. I meeting upon meeting. So we have, in fact, the meeting was still going on. As I give my report, I pull out, I log out of the meeting. I'm in this meeting. So is it something that if we know our calling, uh, if we know our calling, I don't know why uh, we, we, especially pastors now, let's, let's let me remember. Now, Pastor Dako, he has not been at any pastor's prayer meeting. He, he, asked, he, he we saw him operating. Pastor, Pastor Mike, sometimes we're not even seen, okay? And yet, they're in the platform. They're like that, like that, like that. And these are ministers. And these are people that we know in Lagos now, in, in deeper life, in Lagos State, <coughs> if you are not on the Tuesday uh, leadership meeting, the Lagos State Board will have said it, the GS have approved it. If the district pass, we cannot moderate. We cannot even preach on Sunday. Yes. It's only that we take the copy. Yes, in, here in this prayer request platform, we have been saying it. Let's take it very serious. Thank you for the report you give that Pastor from the United States and he said, uh, no, I know that. Fine, good. Pastor, let me, let me, now, Pastor, oh, Pastor Ojo, Pastor Sunday Ojo. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Um, uh, in this platform, I discovered that majority that's in Nigeria. Please, that's Pastor, Nigeria. just speak louder. Put your your mouth on your on, on the mic. You are okay, can you hear me now? Can you? The mic. Speak I, louder, please. Can you, can you hear me now? We okay. can hear you, but just uh, make it a little no. louder, sir. Make it a little louder. Okay. What, I'm, what I'm saying is that majority of those that the platform we are from Nigeria here. Yes. And we know what is going on in Nigeria. This light problem. This light problem is affecting us. By the time you say you want to uh, recharge the phone, you not see light to recharge. You see it happened to me last week. My phone is, is, was down. And so like that. Not only that again, sir. Not to leave that, sir. Not to leave that. Can I continue, sir? Yeah, I continue, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. We need to pray against the parties of the devil. Devil is so happy that we are coming together to pray. We need to pray against it. That spirit of busy, busy, busy. We need to pray against it. God will baptize us with food of prayer and disease. To come together to pray. That's for Mister. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Pastor Ojo. Now, who is this? Uh, uh, Pastor Pastor Paul. Can we hear from you, Pastor Paul, from Jami? Can you emote yourself and speak at Pastor Paul? This pastor's this pastor's planning meeting now. It's not a general meeting. So please speak at Pastor Paul. Uh, but what I was talking about, what, what I said now. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What, what, what I said last week was uh, for the security. You know, there, there are some people when they, they see all this uh, porno, this kind of pornography, you know, if, the, 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 the imagination. No, sometimes we hear this woman screaming online because the imagination of it capture. You no, know, it becomes so difficult for for them to be to, to erase all this uh, these pornographic pictures. So security, I think security is very important. So that these people can these this cameras cannot creep in. Okay. That is was uh, is observation. Uh, Pastor, you, you, you get me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I got. I, yes. I, I got you, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay, yes, sir. I think what he's saying is that in our platform, people try to post some unnecessary uh, pornography, unnecessary uh, images, and uh, things that not really find. We should see how to uh, take remove those things away from the platform. That goes to all, all the administrators. Okay, I think for some time we have not been witnessing that again. I don't know. Is yes. Any... Uh -huh. For some time. No, that has passed. That has passed. It has not happened yeah. again. Yeah. It's a long time thing. Yeah, but they, they, those people mm. who left, they don't know that you know things have changed. They know that they don't. They don't know that they've become better now. And that is not the publicity. If we know those people, let's reach out to them oh. and tell them we have sanitized our group. That those people, are, we know, we are living in the last days. So, uh, this, uh, those judge, they will season cease the uh, the platform, and at the long run, we will still achieve nothing. Uh, I told us the last time when we want to have this kind of meeting, be individualistic. What can I do? What should we do? The last time we come, we are asking questions. The same thing is being repeated. Actually, I didn't want to talk because, but I'm just looking at the time. What can I do? Then what can other do to improve? In uh, say, hey, but, President, uh, uh, Pastor Lad, but, uh, but, but, please hold on. Do you know the same meeting here? Has been cancelled. United States. Why? The number are dropping down. What affects us is affecting the other people. Economic is very tight. But uh, uh, Pastor uh, uh, Femi was saying the last time that even to buy card for some people, if even Pastor I I mention it, it's difficult. The question we need to ask ourselves. Is the little resources we have, the number we have, the amount of people who are coming, how, how are we uh, being affected? When you are being affected, you don't need to call any other person. I'm not yeah, saying we should need to look at it. When, when you are being affected, there's no way you will not call any other person. I only like Pastor Bart. Nobody in fighting. He just saw it online. That this is what you have been doing. You can what say. It's like we are just repeating everything. This, uh, the one pastor, uh, pastor, I mean, the pastor uh, from Germany mentioned now, you know, we are many online. So people don't even want to listen to something like that at all. Talk that's for mentioning it. We have mentioned it more than three times. So what is attitude uh, that me I'm bringing that we improve? It's better than being repeating everything at the same time. What can we do? Uh, what can we sorry, do? What can we do? Sorry, Pastor. Pastor, sorry. Uh, you see, when we look at what is at, at stake now, uh, based on what Pastor Alice said, actually, there is no way you can have a church. Let's say a church of 200, for example. And all of a sudden, the attendance dropped to 30, a bit of 50. As a concerned leader, mm -hmm. you will feel that you know, something is wrong somewhere. Definitely, you have to sit down, go back to drawing board. That is exactly what we are doing. 
Pastor uh, uh, Pastor uh, Chegu, uh, what is wrong? Uh, wait, wait, Ma I'm, 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 wait, I'm, I'm driving home a Pastor point. Pastor Matthew, sir. yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay, sorry. I'm driving home a point. Now we have already pinpointed out some people that we have personally. A brother mentioned, he said we should make personal contacts, and that is exactly one of the things that will help us. And some of us have started doing that, and I think. We should still encourage ourselves. The purpose of this meeting is to encourage ourselves that, okay, those of us who are consistent, let's continue. Those who are not consistent, let's see how we can persuasively talk to them so that they can also join us. And through that, by the grace of God, they will be encouraged. Maybe they are discouraged. Maybe they are going through some challenges of life. Maybe because of the economy or wanting. You know. So by the time we rally around, will be our brother's keeper. That is just exactly what... We cannot stop talking about it until we solve uh, the problem. Pastor, Pastor, thank you so much. Pastor Ali, Pastor, I want Pastor, to Pastor, Thank you so much. I really, I I appreciate, I really appreciate your, your Please, insight. I want you to draw the name of the people that you know they have been joining and they are not joining and bring it to the pastors. Let's look at them. Okay. Okay, let me, uh, by the grace Pastor of Shego, God, Shego, like... Pastor Shego, Pastor Shego, hold on, please. Sorry for cutting you off, Pastor Shego, okay? Okay. Sorry, yes, for, sorry for cutting you off, okay? Yes, sir. Sorry for cutting you off, Pastor Shego. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Um, and please, let's try to maintain self-control, please. Uh, this meeting, we should not allow uh, our flesh, and let's just try to control our temper, please so that we have a result. I have a reason why I'm saying what I'm saying now. And let's not give Satan a chance to take advantage of us. You understand? Mm. I don't want to go more than that. I don't want to say more than that. But by the grace of God, I am a, I am a location pastor. At the worship service today, they give me the attendance. I look at the attendance. I have to have meeting with my fellow workers. Find out from them that even those who did not come to church today, Sunday, they should go and visit them. As pastors, I'm, I'm, I'm a pastor in different by the grace of God. As pastors, we should have that, that, side, that type of mentality with us. For us to be pointing, this one did not come. This one did not come. This one did not come. We didn't do all those things. Thank God for Pastor Peter. He called the sister. And also, I, Pastor Sheng also told me as well. He found out, he found out from other people why they did not actually join. And also called Sister Sister Esther and all that. Okay? By God's grace, I also reached out to people as well by the grace of God. Even Pastor Bart, before the prayer meeting, I contacted him. He said, we'll be joining. He's online today as well. Nothing spread. Not that we have it last week. We keep on saying the same thing. We are making progress. Pastors, we should have discernment. We should allow, we should allow the wisdom of God to guide us. And when things has been being awful. Let's try to control our temper. Today we, we talk about how Moses, how Moses lost the promised land through, because of anger. Anger. Make it to lose the promised land. I took the message today by the Christian in the district. I preached today in, in my district. So please, let's be very careful with our temper so that we will not miss God, God, God faithfulness, God blessing in our lives. The temper make Moses not to see the, the promised land with everything, with everything he did. I will send the outline to the pastor's prayer meeting today. After this discussion, I will send the, the, the outline to the pastor's, pastor's uh, uh, prayer meeting, uh, pastor's platform. Let's be very careful. And this this uh, opportunity we have, let's respect each other. Raising up our voice, shouting, please, God will help us and God will give us the grace to control our temper. Amen. Please, let's allow the Spirit of God to control our temper. God will help us. So this Amen. meeting... That's why we say this today. Thank God for those, Pastor Peter, reach out to people. Pastor, even Pastor Sheng also told me, he, he reach out to people. I also reach out to people. So let's find him out, shaking in, shaking out. It's not a waste. We are making pro progress for God's sake. May God give us wisdom. Pastor Sheng, Pastor, your ministry is very busy and all that. I see him going to be attending prayer meeting, not only on Monday, to be needing prayers. If, that's why you have um, online activity. Do you understand? Let's encourage each other because if that one did not attend, this will not attend, this is not, and we keep quiet. The, 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 church, the church will not grow. 
We'll be just saying, we are okay, we are okay. To me, to me, we have two, 287, 13 attending, attending the, 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 the prayer meeting. And to me, I say, oh, what, what? to me, by God's grace, I, I, I deal with figures. Every service day, every opportunity, Thursday, Sunday, and Monday, I have to go through the attendance. And that is part of our call as a pastors. So please, I plead with us. You know, because we said last week, we are saying the same thing. No, sir. No, sir. No, it's part, okay, it's part okay, of sir. our calling and it's part of the ministry. Yes, sir. Pastor, Sorry, sorry I have to say one of Sorry, sir. Uh, please, sir, let me say this thing. before we continue. The, this will soon go off. If you go off, we call on pastor's uh, platform so that I can round up. Uh, what I want to say, like uh, Pastor Femi said, before Pastor Femi was called upon to talk, I was still going to raise that uh, Pastor Femi for some time. We have not seen you on the pastor's prayer meeting. I remember last week I spoke to him before the meeting. He said his phone was on 2%. Like this evening now, I have to go to my neighbor's house to charge. We speak now. We don't have light. And I've never done it. I can't remember the year. I have to step out of my house to go and charge another person. But when I see that my phone was on 20, in fact, 19%, and the prayer is coming, we are just had one hour. I have to go and sit down with my phone in a neighbor's house to charge. So majorly, the problem has to do with power. 